Hey everybody, this is Joshua, the tendonitis expert. And in this video, we're going to talk about Achilles tendon stretching. Probably you've done some Googling and you're looking for how to stretch a tendon. You probably find some information about how to do that, but this video is kind of the opposite of that because you shouldn't stretch your Achilles tendon. Achilles tendons don't stretch. So let's talk about that. So let's start with why would you want to stretch an Achilles tendon? Probably it's because either your Achilles tendon feels tight to you or a doctor or somebody has told you that your Achilles tendon is really tight. And there's elements of that that are true, kind of like a guitar string. They're either loose or they're quote unquote tight. But I'm going to say that there's a difference between tight and taut. We don't really use taut much these days, but tight is like a bungee cord. It'll get loose or you can pull it tight. But your Achilles tendon is more like a cable, a steel cable or a rope. It doesn't get loose or tight. It's just a steel cable or a rope. You can pull on it and that'll make it taut. There'll be no slack in the line. But point being, Achilles tendons don't get loose or tight. So when you're trying to stretch your tendon, you're kind of shooting at the wrong target. You're in the wrong boat. And we'll expand on that more when we go back up to look at the anatomy. I'm not quite sure why doctors tell you to stretch the tendon. They should know the basic mechanics of the human body, which is that Achilles tendons don't stretch. They don't get loose. They don't get tight. They're just a steel cable. So, I don't know. There's that. So why should you not stretch the Achilles tendon? I've already covered that, ironically. It's because they don't stretch. That doesn't mean there's not a problem. That doesn't mean that there's not something causing the pain and that tightness is causing the pain, but it's not tightness of the tendon itself. So let's look at the anatomy for why that is. So real quick, here is your Achilles tendon right there. It's attached to the gastrox and the soleus and a whole bunch of connective tissue. It anchors to your heel right there. So if the, the tendon right here, if that doesn't get tight, that means something else is pulling on it. Something else is the problem. Now, obviously, it's not your bone because your bone is just bone. So it must be the muscles. When your muscles are too tight, they're pulling on your tendon. Kind of like tug of war. Bone doesn't move at all. And these muscles are pulling this way on the tendon. You think when you go to bed at night, they're relaxing. And some of them do, but you have millions of muscle fibers. And too many of them are tight and they stay tight 24-7. So 24-7, these muscles or parts of these muscles are pulling on the tendon. If you were to gently pull on your finger for six months, it would really hurt after a day probably. You're not causing any damage, but your body's not designed to have that constant tension. And that's partly why the tendon hurts. Other aspects of that are when the muscle is too tight and it's constantly pulling on the tendon, that means the muscle is too tight. Kind of like a half squeezed sponge, it's half squeezed, which means it doesn't get to full relaxed. It's always tight. It's always working. And that means it can't absorb force very well. So you're walking down the street, you're running and jumping, whatever you're doing, you're standing there and your muscles aren't absorbing force like they're supposed to. And where's that force go to? It goes to right there, for instance, where you feel tendonitis pain, inflammation. It goes to right there where you get little micro tears. These are terrible arrows. Work with it. Uh, anyway, when the muscles here aren't doing their job, that force goes somewhere that it's not supposed to, for instance, right there for instance, where the rupture happens. Ruptures don't just happen for no reason. Ruptures happen because the muscles aren't absorbing force like they're supposed to. Tendons aren't designed to absorb that force. It's the muscles that absorb it. But tendon rupture is a different video. But the concept is the same. When your muscles are working too hard, constantly 24 seven, they're constantly pulling on the tendon. They're constantly pulling that way. The tendon doesn't like that. That's why your tendon feels tight is because the muscles are pulling like that in that direction. So like a guitar string, it's, you know, doesn't have any slack in it. You want some slack. So if you're looking for how to stretch your Achilles tendon, 
that's the wrong thing to be looking for. What you want to look for is how to make the muscles relax, how to make the muscles lengthen, how to make the muscles stop pulling on the tendon 24-7. So that's kind of the main goal. Open up the muscles and connective tissue that are pulling constantly on the tendon, and that will give the tendon some relief. If you're interested in finding out more about Achilles tendon stretching, or what to do besides Achilles tendon stretching, then go to my website, tendonitisexpert.com, achilles-tendon-stretching.html. More information is there. And of course, the solution is always the reversing Achilles tendonitis program.